Nvidia has launched the RTX 5080, over two years after the RTX 4080, priced at $999, it retains 16GB of VRAM while offering a 4% boost in clock speeds, an 11% increase in core count, and 34% more memory bandwidth with faster GDDR7 memory. AI performance improvements are a key focus, though this comes at the cost of an additional 40 watts of power consumption. Whether this makes the 5080 a worthwhile upgrade or if Nvidia is holding back due to a lack of competition. The RTX 5080 introduces some useful upgrades. It supports DisplayPort 2.1 for uncompressed 4K 240Hz HDR output, making it ideal for next-gen OLED monitors. The Founders Edition cooler now features liquid metal for improved cooling and acoustics, and its two-slot design makes it an excellent option for small form factor builds. Benchmarking across nine games at 4K shows that at native resolution, the RTX 4090 outperforms the 5080 by about 19%, while the 5090 is 52% faster. In Cyberpunk 2077, the 4090 is 20% ahead, while the 5090 is a massive 65% faster. However, Fortnite's performance gap is smaller, with the 4090 leading by just 14%. While the 5080 is a clear step up, it doesn't match the 4090's high-end performance. With DLSS Balanced Mode, the 5080 becomes much more competitive. The performance gap with the 4090 shrinks to just 13%, making the real-world difference much smaller. The 5090 still holds a 40% lead, but DLSS significantly narrows the gap, making the 5080 a more viable option for gamers prioritizing cost efficiency over raw power. Price to performance is where the RTX 5080 truly shines. At native resolution, it costs about $18.50 per frame compared to $21 for the 4090. With DLSS, this improves further, dropping to $10.52 per frame, while the 4090 and 5090 cost around $13.30. This means users would be paying nearly 30% more per frame for the 4090 or 5090, making the 5080 the better deal for those who want high performance without overspending. Power efficiency is another strong point. The 5080 draws 303 watts in gaming, significantly lower than the 5090's 572 watts. This translates to lower temperatures, quieter operation, and reduced power consumption. After 15 minutes of gameplay, the 5080 was 11 decibels quieter and 20 degrees cooler than the 5090, making it ideal for users who prioritize noise and efficiency. Despite its advantages, the 5080 has some downsides. The lack of increased VRAM could be an issue for future proofing, and the performance boost over the 4080 is modest at just 15% after two years. If Nvidia faced stronger competition, the 5080 could have been either cheaper or closer to the 4090 in performance. Overall, the RTX 5080 is a solid but unexciting upgrade. It delivers strong price to performance, benefits from Nvidia's AI advancements, and runs cooler than the 5090. However, it lacks the generational leap many expected. If you own an RTX 4080, there's little reason to upgrade. But if you have an RTX 3080 or older and can get it at the manufacturer's suggested retail price, it's a great option. What do you think? Is the RTX 5080 worth it? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for not to miss any updates. See you in the next one.